So hi, Devin. Hey, this is Devin from uh, Weston Audio, and uh, we're out of Portland, Oregon. And uh, this is my first time at Superbooth, and I'm having a blast. It's crazy. Yeah, it's a pretty uh, different show to any of the others if you've been to any of those. Yeah, nothing like this in the US. So. Brilliant. So you've got some uh, new stuff to show us, right? Yeah, I've got one uh, new module here, and I think it's kind of unique. It's called the uh, H1 Analog Harmonizer. So I can show you what's going on here. So basically, what this is, uh, is it's um, two digitally controlled analog oscillators with a pitch tracking input. So I'm sending it uh, just a, a regular little sequence from an oscillator, which is what you hear right now. And then the H1 is generating, uh, it is tracking the pitch and calculating it and giving you two other channels that will operate at a note relative to it. So I'll turn this up. So it's kind of like instant analog chord stab. And the notes are selected. This is like one octave of a musical keyboard. So now we have a minor chord going and a major. And you can change the octave. Each channel also has analog through zero FM. So if I patch in the same oscillator that it's tracking, I can really solid FM sounds going. It's also a dual quantizer. So if I go to the second page here, this is like a quantizer. So I can CV, send a CV to shift each note and uh, enable and disable quantize steps, just like any quantizer. So I'll just uh, send an LFO here. And now it's shifting the note of channel one, and I can enable and disable steps. And you also get that CV that's been quantized outputted as well as a trigger, just like a quantizer. So it's, uh, it's simply a dual quantizer at that point. So uh, where, where are you kind of in the development cycle? Are you kind of ready to go with this? or It's what? very close, yes. So uh, just a little bit more work on uh, kind of software stuff. Uh, so it is, it is primarily an analog module, but there's um, there's digital stuff for the, the pitch tracking and the menus and the quantizer. So yeah, just in the kind of final stages of that and kind of debug. It will have user updatable firmware with a USB uh, mini B connector. So in the future, uh, hopefully uh, if anything needs to change, it, it can be easily updated. Brilliant. So um, uh, do you have a kind of price point? Is there any other features that you want to talk about? Or? I don't have a price. Uh, exactly right now, but I'm hoping that it will be uh, around 395 US dollars. Uh, that's kind of the, the target right now. So. Perfect. Yeah, uh, and additionally, um, if you're still rolling, uh, there's, a, there's an additional mode that you can operate it in called chord mode. And what this gives you is the first page is like a bank of 12 chords. And those can be CV addressed, just like the quant uh, quantize mode with the same CV input. And then the second page, it shows you the notes that make up that chord. And you can simply change them. And when you're happy, you go back to the other page. And you could just hold the button down. And that's going to save that to non-volatile memory and blink. Cool. So the idea, though, the idea with this module was to just have an a really like simpler way to have like basic polyphony in a modular rig because you know tuning a lot of VCOs and uh, and that sort of thing is it, it can be time consuming so that was the goal with this module you only have to tune one VCO but you have like a full uh, analog sound and you could certainly use two of them side by side and send them the same 
uh, waveform and have a four-part chord, for example, and only tune one oscillator. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, Devin, thank you very much for speaking to us. Yeah, thanks a lot. I we'll appreciate it. We'll see you next it. time. Cheers. Cool.